And we are Advisorpedia at Insight, and we are here with Penny Phillips, who needs no introduction. So I think today it would be really cool for all the things that you know, all the things that you do, let's talk about growth. Or I think you've got a different way to look at it, which is maybe not so good growth. You know, it's funny because if you talk to individual advisors, Steve, and you ask them, how was last year for you? Or, or, or you ask them, where did growth come from last year? Advisors will tell you, we're doing great. And we get all of our new business from referrals. And we don't even ask for referrals. Clients just introduce us to new people and we're continuing to grow. But if you look at the statistics, what the statistics tell us is that uh, as a whole, the industry is not growing organically. And the most growth in our business is actually coming from the larger firms, the firms with a billion plus in assets under management. And so there's a couple reasons for that and I think it's really interesting. The first reason is because, look, we, we just talked about it a second ago off camera. Most advisors have benefited from the markets doing really well and have felt like and, and have had growth and their businesses have been growing, but it's be, been because of the markets. The other issue that we're seeing is that the younger generation of advisor, the new advisor, not just coming into the business, but that's now running a lot of these businesses, is not a producer-oriented advisor. And I talk a lot about how the generations are gonna impact growth numbers moving forward. Think about it this way. Most of the advisors who did grow, who built the business, who started out you know, decades ago before I was in the business, um, they did so in a negative reinforcement sales culture, mm -hmm. right? For sure. They were in an office, their manager was screaming at them, if you don't do this, you're out of the business. And so they cut their teeth in this really tough, hunter-oriented industry. Mm -hmm. Well, the next generation of advisor, the, the millennial or, or Gen Z, -er, grew up in a positive reinforcement participation trophy society, right? Mm -hmm. Their confidence is built on the number of likes you get on social media. Mm -hmm. And so think about what that's done to a sales culture, right? They're not naturally oriented to facing rejection, to having to go out there and cold call. And so the younger generation of advisor is not going to drive organic growth. So where is it gonna come from? And my prediction is that it's gonna to have to come from the institutions and it's gonna to have to come from the bigger firms driving leads to advisors on social and digital media. And so the bigger firms that are growing are doing so because they're paying millions of dollars in things like search engine optimization and organic content creation. And so we can't rely on individual producers to grow businesses anymore. We have to rely on the big firms. Right, and you start to see that now, especially the large firms trying to deal at scale with clients that have more complicated situations with retirement. That all by itself is a Rubik's Cube of solutions. And then that scale doesn't work. So the size of that book which might have worked for an accumulation practice, falls apart when you look at the gear ratio associated with the smaller number of clients needed to make those complicated changes. I know you have an opinion about another topic which is related to that, which is this G2 advisor, as you call them. We have been had the privilege today, because of the Pershing program, to interview all kinds of advisors from different universities today, but what's your take on those people coming in? You know, I think what's really interesting about the G2, and there's a wide, range of definitions for G2 advisor. We'll sure. call it the younger advisor, 20-something advisor coming into the business now. What I like about those advisors are they are extremely purpose and planning oriented. Many of them are coming into the business because they want to be advisors. They want to deliver advice. They want to help families achieve their goals. And no offense, many of the advisors who've been in the business a long time started in this business because they, they were salespeople. They wanted to make money. They were positioning a single product in a transaction-oriented relationship. And so the profile of the new advisor coming in is fantastic in terms of really supporting this idea that we're moving to financial planning, we're fiduciaries, et cetera. The challenge is gonna be who is gonna take over the businesses of the advisors right. aging out and sunsetting. And I think with consolidation, with m and what it is right now, we're gonna have a, um, an industry where we have a couple of really large firms and we have a bunch of really talented employee technician advisors. And that's a very different industry than the one that we've been, been in the last couple of decades. Right, well it's very surgical, but it's also you're now creating roles that may not have existed before. It's actually very similar to personal healthcare in a lot of ways. That's exactly right, and, and in fact you don't see as many you know, uh, doctors, generalist doctors that own their own 
practices anymore. The numbers have totally flipped on their head, right? Now, doctors work for big organizations and it's very corporate. And, and so I don't know if that's good or bad culturally for our industry, but I hope that the consumer benefits from that. Benefits from having advisors who are dedicated to the craft, who are certified, who en enjoy financial planning as a discipline. And I think for big firms and firms like mine, roll-ups and aggregators, we are gonna have to really look for the employee advisor or the younger advisor that has that X factor that could be the business developer or could be the leader. And we really need to nurture those advisors. Absolutely, absolutely. Penny Phillips, always right on target. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you.